Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Christian Apple coming to you live from downtown Sacramento, California, <laughs> Sacramento, California, USA, and it's time for another episode of Grave Time, and uh, today I'm not at a cemetery, nor I'm at a uh, graveyard or a resting place, but it is a monument to fallen law enforcement in the state of California, and today I've chosen to pick five of the best uh, stories of fallen officers that I feel um, need to be told um, not to not to celebrate their death or anything but to celebrate uh, who they were and what they did that made them such great people and um, basically coming down to the wire of the the last few minutes of their lives to be unselfish and uh, to basically make sure that justice is served with the very little bit of time left of their life and um, so um, I want to honor them and it is I don't know how hot it is out here but it's supposed to be a hundred something today there's a protest over here across the street from uh, the, the uh, this is the uh, California State Capitol and they got some crazy anarchist riot thing going on over there I should say riot, but protest there was some other crazy stuff going on but anyways I'm not here for that we're not here to celebrate um, people who can't protest properly. We're here to, this is an episode of Grave Time, we're here to celebrate those who have passed on. And uh, today I'm doing a, a series of five um, CHP officers who have died in the line of duty. And I wanna go ahead and make what they've, what, what happened to them known so that you can, at home, can honor them. And um, it's interesting, the first 60 something um, CHP officers that died in line of duty were all basically motorcycle accidents, either faulty motorcycle, um, lost their balance, didn't have a, uh, most of them didn't have helmets, some of them got hit by another car or something, it caused them to fall off their motorcycle. But anyways, today we're, going, we're here to uh, check out Robert E. Bob Reed. Officer Bob Reed was shot and killed by a prisoner he had just arrested for speeding and attempting to elude arrest on US Highway 101 near Ventura. The suspect crashed into a barricade, barricade, <laughs> barricade, barricade, and ran from the scene. Officer Reed captured him after a short chase. The 36 year old suspect complained of an injury in his ankle. So, Officer Reed transported him to the hospital instead of to the jail. He was ordered to the psychiatric ward when he grabbed a bottle of cleaning fluid and tried to drink it as he was being examined. So basically, uh, the uh, criminal basically was taken in. Um, uh, Officer Reed decided to take him straight to jail, take him to the hospital to um, look at his. Uh, he wasn't all there, basically mentally ill, and he basically grabbed a bottle of cleaning fluid and and uh, tried to drink it. He was trying to commit suicide. Um, in the process, uh, as it says here, as he was transferred um, by a gurney, he grabbed Officer Officer Reed's gun out of his holster and shot him. The suspect was found to be insane and committed to a mental hospital. On July 28, 1960, he died at the State M Mental Hospital in Su San Luis Obispo. So, here's an officer on call of, um, of someone who's just not there. Um, honestly, if I was the officer, I would have let the guy just kill himself. <laughs> but obviously, he can't do that you know, in his care. You know, There's rules and regulations. Um, but I think this just sucks this this guy tried to kill himself and then ends up grabbing hold of the officer's gun and shooting him and killing the officer and uh, when the officer was basically just trying to do the right thing and um, you know basically get him to a hospital where he needed to be to get um, some mental help and so anyways uh, like I said we're here in downtown Sacramento and I'm here to honor Officer Reed and the things that he did uh, to protect us citizens, even though that was a long time ago. <laughs> uh, like I said, it was in 19, 1944, I believe. 
no, excuse me, uh, he passed away September 9th, 1956, and he was born in, on April 9th, 1929. So, Officer Reed, um, great, great uh, member of the uh, California Highway Patrol, otherwise known as CHP, uh, died in the line of duty, trying to help someone who was not mentally uh, stable and ended up, that mentally ill person ended up grabbing his gun and shooting and killing the officer. It's just sad. Um, but, uh, you know, these things happen, um, sadly. So anyways, um, like I said, uh, this is an episode of Grave Time, and here at the Law Enforcement Memorial here in uh, Sacramento, California. Just kind of get you a view. There's right, right in here. There's a bunch of names here on, on plaque, and then you have, um, I believe that is supposed to be a CHP officer, PD officer, and then on the side there's a guy that looks kind of like a like a cowboy. He's supposed to be. I think that's supposed to be a sheriff right there. And then you have some more names here and the plaque, and then behind the behind the monument here. There's uh, all the different state agencies within California that are part of the um, California Peace Officers Memorial Foundation. So these are all the different um, uh, police departments, um, even uh, agents. I mean, look at this. You got uh, this is just so cool. I just want to point this out. Uh, 7-Eleven has donated money to this organization. Uh, for fallen officers. I just think that's awesome. Um, let's see here. Uh, you, uh, you got Target right here. Got Target. Um, I'm trying to see if I see anything else. I think that's about it for right now. But anyways, I just thank you all for watching Grave Time. And it, like I said, it's hot out here. It's going to be 100 something today. And um, in Sacramento, and I just thank you for watching Grave Time. Uh, please tell all your friends about Grave Time. And uh, have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. And uh, thank you for watching. God bless you. Bye.